What's going on everybody? I'm back again with another vlog and today I'm going to be walking Washington Avenue in St. Louis, Missouri. They also call it Washington Avenue District and it's because they have a lot of old buildings for the 19th century. This is pretty much like the beginning of the modern area but if I keep walking a little bit forward you're going to see a lot of old buildings, restaurants, bars. So let's see what's going on so join me. This is like the modern area over here you see skyscrapers building but then ahead of me is the Marriott Hotel and across the street is the courtyard and those are like some beautiful structures of buildings you can see how wide the streets are and this is pretty popular in St. Louis you can rent a scooter Lime or the bird scooter even this hotel is the embassy suites and you can see the beautiful architecture like I say a modern skyscraper here some buildings of downtown St. Louis and this is the convention center right here and then behind is two Marriott hotels Today's a Saturday, so that's why you don't see much happening over here. So far, I'm loving it, so the street goes deep further, and I'm gonna keep walking deep further. This is the full service Marriott, you can see. Details in the building, even the first floor is beautiful. Then, after that block, is where you're gonna start seeing how the street changes. Not too many tall buildings, but every building has like its own detail. For example, this building you see. I can't already see it clear. And one of my co-workers was telling me that a uh, similarity that St. Louis has with New York City is like the details of the architecture of the building. So I believe it. So I like how they, get, they keep the streets pretty neat. In the nighttime, the lights are beautiful. Then you can see what I'm talking about. You know, the buildings are not tall, but they have their own details in architecture. Because like I say, it's buildings from the 19th century. And they got like a fancy hair salon studio. I think this is like a Cuban restaurant over here. And then if I keep, if I keep going forward, that's what they like, the street at the nighttime. And over here, I walk the street at nighttime. It's open now, but I'm not sure if it's only in the weekends or at nighttime. They put the barricades in the streets and I guess they shut it down. I don't know if they want to make it like a pedestrian or in the summer it gets pretty lit. You can start seeing like more excitement happening over here with the buildings. Like I say, here they got like a nice shop. Probably fancy looking store. <laughs> and look at the buildings over here. Let me stand a little here so you can get a view of this one too. So, like if you're a fan of history, you will like this street. Loving it so far, you know, really cool vibes. Now, even the street is cobblestone, so you can see how they keep it pretty nice and neat. And I don't know if you can see it clearly, but it's like a rope and it lights up in the nighttime, so it makes the street look beautiful. Now here's a lot of restaurants. You can see they have the outdoor dining, but a lot of restaurants they open a little bit later here. But yeah. More tables out here. And you can see how the architecture continues. It's funny because this this building is called the Knickerbocker. And it's funny because in Brooklyn, in Bushwick, you know, there's a street called the Knickerbocker Avenue. And look at this, this entrance over here. Yeah, I really got to say it's a beautiful street. I walked it in yesterday at nighttime, but I couldn't see clear because it was so dark, bro. Walking in the daytime, and it's a beautiful street. Like I say, it's a really beautiful street, but I wish it was like more people, you know, more things going on. At some point it could be good because you could come here and take pictures and have the street to yourself, but yeah, can't complain so far. And this building is a hotel over here. Like I say, the street continues with the architecture. Look at the entrance, really beautiful. And the sun helps out the weather and I gotta say it really feels like a Midwestern vibe. Obviously because this is the Midwest. Look at this building over here. just. Nice looking building. And 
so far what I heard is they're trying to develop the street and you know like I say I see a lot of lofts a lot of hair salons barbershop like the fancy looking ones you know with its own like little town vibe but this is St. Louis and I like the street so far you know the buildings are really beautiful nice architecture even though they're not tall I'm a fan of tall buildings but the details they put in the buildings I think it makes it worth it now I cross the other side of the street you can have an idea and then if you walk in the nighttime you're gonna see a lot of lights some of them have like a neon lights I like this building and I heard like if you go outside of downtown like some neighborhoods also have like their unique vibe their unique architecture and I like how wide the streets are really beautiful day the cloud is really beautiful day you know the sky is really blue my favorite color this is what windows on Washington but yeah really beautiful street and this here is called the last hotel the building in the corner and then you see the windows everything a couple of restaurants this is a street right here and it's like in every corner you can rent uh, East scooter a little different from New York because here you rent it but in New York a lot of people they, they rely on a scooter like they have their own e-bikes their own scooter that is something that I know is really different from San Louis but it's really good to visit different cities around the United States and see how different they are you know from another from another city the lifestyle how people live how do people commute you know and I think that's the beauty about the United States and I figure for all the blocks I walk in Washington Avenue this might be the pretty much more interesting but I know there's also a lot of the business are closed I'm not sure if they're gonna open new ones and stuff like that but then here's like a loft and you saw this building earlier when I was walking the other side and now you get another perception of what this side looks like it's like a mixture of the new streets with the old buildings I like this one, it's like an art deco and then the stores fashion so that was the end of my video I hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more, be safe out there everybody God bless y'all and peace